I was sitting on the couch with Rob the other night and he's like, I think there's a problem with your teeth. And I'm like, what? I tried saying that without teeth. I don't want to look like the Marge Simpson picture. Hi everybody, welcome back to Michelle with, with her teeth falling out. Hi everybody, welcome back to Michelle with no dentures in her mouth again. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I didn't put them in at all, I don't think. There's one day a week I wear them not very much so my gums can just have a break and I don't wear them to bed. But I'm going to show you today how I adjust them like file them down a little bit like the dentist does so you don't have to maybe go to the dentist you can do it yourself also i have found that i brush my teeth with a very soft toothbrush now it's easier for me to handle and it gets into all these cracks and crevices i compared this to the denter brush and this is actually softer and it's easier because for like 55 years i'm 55 that's me i've used a toothbrush so I'm just gonna keep using a toothbrush. My dentures, here they are, my top plate, they're hitting back here on my gum. There's like a, I've always had like a something there. I, I don't know what it is, but it's hitting that thing. And I can see where it's hitting right here in this edge. So I'm gonna file that down just a tiny bit so it feels better. If you're having denture pain, and you know what spot it is, you can fix it yourself, if you trust yourself. I mean, you, you could fix it. I've got two different kind of nail files here. I have these and these, smaller and larger. I use them for different things. But right now, I want to get into right there. So I'll file, and it doesn't take much just a little. Remember, you can always take more off. You can't add more to. All right. So we're just going to do just a little in there. I can feel it kind of. And then you feel it after you do it, you can feel it that it's rough. And hopefully that'll work. And you know, this is too much. This, this is just too much. So we're going to take care of that. But I rinse them off after I do this because it leaves powder and these are my temporary dentures these are not my actual ones that i'm gonna have for life so like okay perfect that little tiny bit of filing up here took care of what it needed to take care of now my other teeth my top let me let me put my bottom teeth in before i before i move on let me show you how i put my bottom teeth in so they don't fall out and i promise you i have worn them all day gone to the olive garden to eat dinner and they stayed in my mouth and i'm so happy about that i'm going to wet my lower denture a little bit well that's a lot of it i have this this fix -a dent powder i use this first and i just sprinkle some in there and then i have found i have a paper towel sitting down here i have found that when i like shake this off in my sink it leaves the paste in my sink so we're gonna shake it off on this paper towel like there's gummy in my sink wherever this landed ah! oh, don't drop my denture now i have this fixident tried saying that without teeth fixident ultra and then i just put some in there not i mean not not a whole lot and it's harder to put this in because if this touches the powder watch let me find a spot it, it won't oh that stayed but it it won't stay in the denture if it like touches the powder you'll find it's hard to keep it in there but i don't know why it worked today it, but normally i have to get a toothpick and just kind of put it in there but this doing this my teeth hold all day. I, I don't have a problem. Everybody in my dentist said, you're going to hate or hate your lower denture. I don't. I don't if I do this. Let's look at this one. I don't want to look like the Marge Simpson picture. I'm now I'm talking just with bottom teeth in my mouth. That's weird. I was sitting on the couch with Rob the other night. And he's like, 
I think there's a problem with your teeth. And I'm like, what? He said, I think there's too much, you know, and I said, you mean I look like a dead person laying in a casket? That was my, that's how I felt. And he's like, yeah, that's it. And I'm like, yeah, oh geez, I just stuck my arm in the glue. I'm like, oh, okay, well, and I was seeing it. And when I edit videos, I notice that right here, it's just, there's just so much. So I'm gonna try to file it down just a tiny, tiny bit to see if it, again, the paper towel sticking to me, just to see if it, which, and this is a, I'm using this nail file and it's not, it's not rough because I've used it before, but I don't, I don't want to touch my teeth. I think it's right here. If I file, cause that's the highest spot right in the center, right there. So I'm going to just lightly give that a file. Marge Simpson, I don't want to look like you. <laughs> All right, that, that's all, I filed that bump off. I can tell the bump is gone. So let's try it. Oh, you know what, that feels better already. Let me see, I'm gonna file some more. It's like my gums way more natural now. What a difference. This side over here seemed to be. And don't, I mean, be careful around your teeth because you don't want your teeth to fall out either. And when I do that, I'm not, when I go this way, I'm not touching my teeth. See how it doesn't, well, yeah, it doesn't. Every dentist in the world is probably saying, go to your dentist. Well, I will eventually. Let's see, let me try my, oh, you know what? I can, I can tell in my, I can tell. And when I edit this video, I'll look and see if it needs some more, and then I'll do some more. But you wanna file just a little bit at a time. June 1st, I had my full mouth extraction, and then they put these these right in my mouth. January, I'm gonna have my new teeth done, and I'm not sure, my process might change a little bit, how I'm doing my implants. I don't know yet if I really want them. I don't know if I wanna go through the pain. I'm, I'm running out of this stuff. But this is the best, I like this the best. All right, then I just put some, I probably put too much in here, I know. And let me do a dot. I know that's way too much. I goop it in there, but it helps cushion. I think I'm gonna get that cushion grip and try that. Maybe I'll order that today. So come back and maybe we'll try that. I don't normally use the powder on the top, just the bottom. Oh, you know what? That feels so much better here. It just, it's not pushing out. And I don't feel so much like gagging. So that did something. I think maybe I need to do just a little bit more on the sides. I can do that tomorrow or tonight when I take these out. I keep this paper towel keeps sticking to my arm. That's that, this stuff, this is on there. I love this stuff. Here's my setup. Toothbrush. Soft, as soft as this as can be. Nail files, have them on hand when you get your dentures because I know like the third day in, I, I filed a little bit. It took pain away immediately. So don't be afraid just to file a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, not a lot. Remember, you can always just, you can always take off more later. This is the bomb, love this stuff. And then this Fixident Ultra, these are my go-tos right now. Unless something changes, these are my go-tos. I'm gonna order that sure stuff. That what is it? What is it even called? Denture fit. There, denture fit. I'm gonna order the denture fit, and we're gonna do that on my top. I had a reline, and I think it's wearing down. I, I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but it's happening. So I thought, heck, let's do it myself. I'm gonna get the kit. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Like, subscribe. Come back for more comment do all the things comment you know what i'd like to know is when you got dentures did you have implants and is it worth it is it worth me getting implants because if it is i'll do it but but i don't know if i right now i want to go through all that pain i just i'm not ready yet to do that i don't think but anyway all right i'll see you in my next video bye